Hello, my amazing, super cool, intelligent, smart, good hair day having amazing friends. And thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I'm so excited slash nervous for what I'm about to do right now. This could go amazing. This could go horrible. This could be chaos, utter chaos. I'm hoping for the best. You may or may not know if you watched my more recent unboxing video from Bugs in Cyberspace, I have been plunged into the world of aquatic bug keeping. I love bugs. Bugs are everything to me. And so when I found out that aquatic bugs were a thing, I was like, amazing. Because I've always wanted to try aquascaping or like aqua aquatic enclosure creation. I watch a lot of fish for thought, okay? So I thought this would be my perfect time to try out aqua. I don't want to say aquascaping because I don't know if it's going to come out that good to be called an aquascape. Maybe we should just say aqu aquatic enclosure creation, decoration. What I did was I took my little self down to a local fish and aquatic store. It was amazing, by the way. It was so cool. I was like, what is all this? And a worker was so amazingly helpful and set me up with everything that I need to create my enclosure. So what I'm going to be doing today is setting up two enclosures because we have a couple different types of aquatic bugs. So we need different setups. So one of them is going to be our attempt at aquascape. And the other one is just going to be an aquatic enclosure because it won't have plants and stuff. Does that make sense? First things first, let's meet the bugs. First enclosure, which is our cool, awesome, hopefully awesomely cool aquascaped enclosure, we're going to be having these adorable little diving beetles. They're in this super tiny thing right now because I got them a couple days ago and I just needed something to put them in. You probably can't see them because there's like moss in here and it looks kind of murky. But they're these cute little beetles. They have little like flipper fin things and they dive in the water. It's adorable. The second bug we're going to be creating an enclosure for is going to be my giant water bug or toe biter. I don't think you're going to see him here. He's been in this enclosure for two days and he's not loving it. So we got to get him set up in something better. Those are the bugs. Now let's see the supplies. Yes. Hey, my glasses. Oh my God, they're scratched. <laughs> now our supplies. So for our diving beetles, we're gonna be putting them in this three gallon, um, like kind of edgeless enclosure thing. Yes. Cool. For our toe biter, we're going to be using this. I think it's 10 gallons. I think it's 10 gallons. Fluval stratum. Fish for thought. Recommended this, I think. But the guy at the store told me it's going to help my plants be healthy. And then for the non aquascaped enclosure, I got some of this BS gravel stuff. Then for our aquascaped enclosure, I have all of these liquids. Um, this is why I never got into fish. It's just a lot going on here. So we have comprehensive supplement for planted aquarium, Flourish. We have Prime, which removes chlorine and chloramine. And then we have Flourish Excel, which is bioavailable carbon for planted aquarium. Cool. Then for our planted tank, we have these plants here. It looks kind of weird in this bag, but when I picked them out, they looked really nice. So I think they're gonna be fabulous. I also got some pieces of spider wood. It's crazy how expensive spider wood is. But I mean, it's pretty. But like, dang, I'm gonna take the price tags off so I can forget 
about how much they cost. Our non-planted enclosure, we have some ugly little, I shouldn't say ugly, some very non-natural looking silk plants because I want to start with one planted enclosure just to make sure that I have what it takes to keep it alive and doing well before I go ahead and try to um, keep a 10 gallon planted aquarium as well. So if this goes well, then we'll also do the 10 gallon planted. So stay tuned for that as long as I can keep these alive. So. I'm going into this with absolutely no experience in doing any aquatic enclosures. I think I had a betta fish when I was like six years old and it didn't live very long because as we all know, betta fish do not have the best information out there to keep them thriving. I watched a couple fish for thought videos and I feel like the best thing to do is just jump in and try and do, do this thing. I'm so out of my element right now. <sighs> Do it for the bugs, the aquatic bugs. They're gonna love it. Okay, I'm gonna read some of these models and I'll be right back. So here we are on the ground. We have our aquarium and I went ahead and rinsed it out because I feel like that's something you should do because that's what I do with terrestrial enclosures and I just spent like 20 minutes scrubbing off the sticker. So that was um, not great. Anyways. First things first, I think we put in our substrate. We have the flugel stratum. Apparently, that's good. Okay. Ooh. Do I need the whole bag? I feel like that's pretty good. Okay. And I want to add scatter some of these cute little rocks. This doesn't look that cute. I thought this was going to be cute. Maybe once the plants are in there. I don't feel I don't feel confident. Okay, so we want to place our wood and we want to put rocks on it so it doesn't float. I don't know. Cause it's gonna float, right? It's wood. Will rocks hold it down? We'll find out. There's probably an easier way to do this. In fact, I know there is an easier way to do this. I guess I just like to suffer. work I put in on these rocks they're all being covered with the substrate and the water looks murky am I doing this right I think my confidence has dropped to like a uh, one out of ten but we have some water in, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the plants and see how we're going to plant them in the enclosure. So first up, we have this fluffy thing. Next up, we have this grass. Last up, I have this. This is kind of tall. That might be okay. So, I guess we'll just start placing the plants. It's very murky, so I'm not sure how one does this, but 
Let's see, I think I want the grass to be like along the front. Like a little lawn, a little front lawn. So right now we're just creating the little front lawn. This one doesn't want to stay in. We'll put this fluffy plant. I think I want to keep it like a little bundle. Like right here. So it kind of billows out like this. This one's really tall. I guess we'll put him like in the back. Okay, cool. So I'm hoping what's gonna happen is like the dust is gonna settle and then my water filter will refill and then I can just go ahead and should I put this in here? Yeah. We've run into a problem and the problem is that the water is murky. So I have no idea what the plants are doing. Um, I, so I went ahead and put in the chemicals or the fertilizer and the carbon and stuff. Is it carbon? Carbon. And what I'm gonna do is let it sit because the guy at the store told me I'd have to let it sit for a little bit before I can put anything in it. I, anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this one sit, let it settle, and we'll put the bugs in in I think a couple days, maybe a day. And um, at that point, yeah, we'll put them in. So this is it now. When you see it next time, the water will be clear, right? God, I hope so. Okay, while all that was happening, I readied the enclosure for the toe biter, the giant water bug. So this is the more sterile, less beautiful enclosure because I want to make sure I can keep plants alive before I invest in plants for this. So this is our beautiful hardscape and our beautiful foliage. Be beautiful. Yeah. So anyways, for this one, we don't have to wait to put the bugs in because there's no chemicals or anything. I used filtered water, so we should be all good to go ahead and put them in. They breathe oxygen through the air, not the water. So we don't have to worry too much about cycling water or anything like that, like, like you do with fish. So that's what's nice about aquatic insects over fish, just saying. So now that this tank is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my toe biter. Here he is. Looking cute as ever. Don't get too close to my hand. And we're going to go ahead and put him in. And I'm taking out this ugly piece of fake flower. He's in! Yay? Here we have the toe biter enclosure. He's hanging out right here. As you can see, it's not beautiful. These fake plants aren't great, but they'll give him something to hold on to and float. And yeah, I think he looks... He looks as happy as he can be. Look at him, he's so cute. And that's his little booty sticking out. So we are now above land. Land, land bug? You are, he's a land bug now. Okay, so, um, what did I learn? Aquascaping. Not easy. 
possibly not my forte. Um, I guess the plants will grow in, but oh my god, and this is after some damage control, honestly, that I did because the water turned dark, the plants were floating, um, yeah, I'm gonna give myself like a 0 out of 10, but I will give myself a 5 out of 10 for effort. But yeah, so this is the update, um, I don't know where the beals are, they're in here somewhere. Oh, here's one. Right there? Right here? But yeah, so I'm definitely gonna try again. Um, it's not full of water right now, because I don't really need it to be. But yeah, so I need a lot, I need a lot more stuff. I need help. Um, hmm, okay. Uh, <laughs> here goes the beetle. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed my adventure into the magical world of aquatic keeping. Uh, so far, I think I have very little talent in that area, but I'm proud of myself for branching out. So if you're thinking about getting some aquatic bugs, I highly recommend it. They're so fun and so exciting since there's not that much information out there about them. So I will update with how they do in these enclosures and hopefully we will see me planting out the 10 gallon um hopefully my plants will my water plants will live and we can go ahead and, and plant out the, the 10 gallon as well so if you have any questions about keeping these animals please let me know because like i said there's very little information out there about them i'm really excited to have them and i want to spread the love so <laughs> please let me know if there's anything else you want to know and please let me know if you want to see the 10 gallon planted out also please let me know if i'm a complete mess <laughs> i'm a mess thanks for watching and hopefully i didn't scare you off P please come back <laughs>